In this example, we are going to look at an application involving the double integral. So we're given a population density of a certain city, okay, given by the uh, equation that you see there, p of xy equals to 2x squared plus 3y, where x and y are, are in miles, and p is the number of people per square mile, and that's going to be in terms of, of, in terms of hundreds. And the city limits for, that, for this population is given in this graph below, okay? So first thing is to, we want to find the, the city's population, okay? And we're going to do that with this integral here, okay? All right, with the double integral, okay? Then once we do that, then we're going to take that result and divide by the area of that region, okay? So the area of this triangle. And that will give us the average number of people per square mile of that city, okay? So let's first... Uh, figure out the uh, city's population, okay? All right. Okay, so we're going to have, so I'm going to let P be the, I'm going to let capital P be the population. So we're going to have a double integral, okay? So when we want to integrate the population density, so we have 2x squared plus 3y, okay? All right. Okay, so now, okay, so we're going to have, okay, so since I'm using, right, we're using dy dx. So that means for my, for dy, okay, that's going to correspond to the, right, in, the inside of the integral, okay, the inner part. And so the bounds for that, okay, the bounds are going to be from 0 to 2x minus 2, okay. The reason is because this, okay, okay, this part here, okay, so we need to find the equation of that line, okay, all right. So this basically, okay, uh, has a slope of, okay, so, so looking at the rise over run, so you're going up 4 and over 2, okay. So this is going to be y equals to 2x plus some intercept, okay. So we can use this point down here, okay, that's at 1, 0 to find b. Okay, so when y is, sorry, when x is 1, y is 0. Okay, so we're going to have 0 equals to 2 times 1 plus b. So therefore, b is going to be equal to minus 2. So therefore, this is going to be y equals 2x minus 2. Okay. So that describes this line here. Okay, this, all right, this uh, this line, okay. All right, and so we're going to use, okay, we're going to use a uh, a vertical uh, vertical represented piece. Okay, so let me just draw that in. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so this is going to be this will be dx. Okay, so remember that's going to be on the outside. Okay. All right. So then from here we can get our bounds now. Okay. So for the inner bounds, okay, the inner bounds are going to be from 0, okay, to 2x minus 2. Okay. And then the outer bounds, okay, this rectangle is going but it's right going between one and three okay so that's the setup for this okay all right so now the first thing is to integrate this uh integrate the first right the inside part with respect to y okay so let's do that down here i'm going to have the integral from zero to two x minus two of two x squared plus 3y 
and we're going to integrate this with respect to y. Okay, so this is going to give us, okay, so we have 2x squared here, so we have to have 2x squared and then y, okay, and then plus 3 halves y squared. And we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 2x minus 2, okay. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to plug in, so we're going to plug these bounds in into, into y, okay. So this is going to give us 2x squared times 2x minus 2 plus 3 halves times 2x minus 2 squared. Okay. All right. So simplifying this, okay, this is going to give us 4x squared minus, oh, sorry, 4x cubed minus 4x squared. Actually, sorry, I misread that. That is 4x there. So 4x cubed minus 4x yes, squared. And then plus 3 halves. Okay, so we need to multiply this out. So that's going to give us 4x squared minus 8x. Plus 4. Okay, and so this is going to give us 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x squared okay, minus 12x and then plus 6. Okay, and of course we can combine the x squared terms. Okay, so that's going to give us 4x cubed plus 2x squared, okay, minus 12x, and plus 6. Okay, so now we have to take this and, okay, take this result and integrate it with respect to x, okay, and then evaluate from 1 to 3. So I'm going to do that down here. Okay, so we're going from 1 to 3. And integrate this with respect to x. Okay, so this is going to give us x to the fourth plus, let's see, two, two thirds x cubed minus six x squared. Okay, so we get 12 x squared over two, which reduces to six x squared, and then plus six x. So now all this has to be evaluated from 1 to 3, okay? Okay, so we're going to get, for the first part, we have 3 to the 4th plus 2 thirds, 3 cubed, minus 6 times 3 squared, plus 6 times 3. And then subtract, uh, we're going to substitute 1 into there and then take the difference. So we're going to get 1 to the 4th, so, and then plus 2 thirds, minus 6, plus 6. All right. Okay, so this, okay, so this part, all this is going to give us 63. And then we have minus this part. So that is 5 thirds. So that gives us 184, okay, over 3, okay. So now in the problem, okay, uh, they want, remember, they were asking for determine the city's population, okay. So, and, and also another thing is it's in hundreds, okay. So we need to round this out, round this up, okay. So this is going to be approximately... Uh, six, right? This is this is going to give us. Um, so basically, let me just calculate it here real quick, just to make sure. Oh yeah, so that's sixty-one point three, right? So three, okay, three, 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 three keeps going on. But then remember that the units is in terms of 
hundreds. Okay, so we're going to multiply this by 100. And so that's going to give us uh, 6,133, okay, because it's population, so you always round up, okay. Okay, so that is the, uh, that that's the population, okay, for this, uh, uh, for the city. Okay, so, so 6,133 people. All right, so that's the first part. The second part is the average. They, they want the average number of people per square mile of the city. So we already did the double integral, so now we just have to take that, okay? And, right, we have the total population, right? So that's the average, okay? It's just the total population divided by the, the area, okay? Okay, so the average... So, the average number of people Okay Okay, the average number of people would just be, um, it's going to be equal to 6,133 divided by the area of the region. Okay, so I'll just, yeah. So the area of the region, okay, uh, this is for, so this area is a triangle, okay. So the area of this triangle, okay, let's do that over here. Okay, so this is gonna be one half times, okay. So the base, the base is, right, the base is two, and then the height, is four. Okay, so this is going to give us four. Okay. All right, so we're going to substitute that into here. Okay, so we have six thousand one hundred thirty three. Divided by four. Okay. And we're going to round this up also to the whole number. Okay, so this is going to be approximately 1,533 people. Okay. All right, so that's our, uh, that's our solution.